Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. If you're in the military and they're not letting you get on Infowars.com, try PrisonPlanet.com. Bureaucracy's so stupid, a lot of times they don't block that. They will now. You can get us on Facebook, Twitter, other enemy platforms, YouTube. We have our own PrisonPlanet.tv. That's why we have it. So that it's not as easy for the system to just block us on YouTube as they've done before. That's why you got to become a member. And don't just take this broadcast for granted, folks. They do not want this going out. Chris in Florida, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Want to talk, Chris? Are you there? Yes. Uh, in terms to the caller who said, don't feed the beast, uh, yes, we can follow the good example of tax protester Cindy Sheehan, especially in view of the article, article like uh, Billions Over Baghdad 2007 Vanity Fair, where out of $12 billion from the Fed that was sent to buy off the uh, Iraqi coalition provisional authority, $9 billion went missing. I'm sure you've seen the pictures of the pallets of cash. It just proves Yeah, that was just the first rollout. It's as high as $80 billion, And they even gave privates up to thirty grand to corrupt them and threaten to arrest them later so the military couldn't speak out. Right, right. And they, they've got to pay off the puppet tyrants, both within and without our country, for any hope of future control over them. So let's stop working for a privately owned, unaccountable central bank controlling all our currency and credit, which can only be spent at venues which accept it, a la company stores in, a, in our fascist company town country. But uh, instead, we're establishing uh, all options to the Fed, such as publicly accountable community currencies that are denominated in time. So they are actually nationally and internationally exchangeable and uh, things like uh, cooperative. Exactly. Time. Go to the Amish, go to the farmer's market, plant your own garden, get out of the system, get off the grid as much as you can, eat healthy, be loving to each other, uh, speak out against the globalist. Well said. That's how you bring them down is exposing their operations. And, and, and then it doesn't matter if the zombies want to go along with it. A large minority can stop this. Dave in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. I was just calling to um, let you know that um, with the ISIS thing going on, there is um, a Fort Hunter Liggett in Camp Roberts here in California. Yep. And the bases are packed. And the, the military officers are staying there training for Iraq. That's what they're doing right now over there. Yeah, and then they'll give part of the country to the uh, Al-Qaeda folks saying it was a deal with them, partition the nation, call the other part Kurd, and the other part Shiite, break it in three pieces. Always been the plan, and they're now promoting that right now. Totally disgusting. Anything else? No, that's just it, man. Keep it up, brother. And Thank you. I, uh, no, go ahead. Bye. Thank you. And bottom line, we are being blocked at more bases. If you're at a base or a library or anywhere being blocked, send it to showtips at infowars.com. We'll get an article out about where this is happening to you. Uh, but this is out of Fort Hood, and I guess they might have been looking at a Texas Guard portal when they got blocked. But that's a Texas Guard uh, report saying not allowed to go to that, I guess because we showed them running checkpoints and stuff for the kite festival and how they're being federalized. I guess that's a big no-no. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Scott in Michigan. You're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hello, Alex. Yeah, I'm just calling about how they're really throwing it in your face with the water foreignization. Here in town, you can go to www.cityofmuskegonheights.org and view the report for this year, how they're finally admitting that the fluoride comes from discharge from fertilizer and aluminum factories, the barium comes from drilling waste discharge, metal refinery discharge, the chromium comes from steel and pulp mill discharge. They're literally and by the way, the general public doesn't know that, but you should send us at showtips at infowars.com that link. Just to show, headline, city admits toxic waste added to water on purpose and then point out that, that worldwide they take the toxic waste as a big joke and put it in the water. Promise you'll send me the link to that city and that town with them admitting that to show tips at infowars.com. Will you do it? Yep, yep, we'll do, Alex. Say the name of the city again. City of Muskegon Heights dot org. All one word. W -W -W and what's the name of the document? What's the name of the document? It's the water... 
Muskegon Heights Water System Water Quality Report 2014. And by the way, all of it says it. Up to 350 deadly chemicals. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, Master Herbologist and Chief Formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group...